Good morning, Seahawks. I am missing you all like crazy. This coronavirus has made life tough. Schools are closed. Social distancing is in place. So many changes have happened over such a short period of time that it's causing a lot of people to feel anxiety. Anxiety is a natural emotion. Um, it triggers our body to go into fight or flight mode when there's physical danger present, but it also makes us take short, quick breaths, which lets less oxygen go to our brains and can keep us from thinking clearly. Many times when you're feeling stressed out or anxious, you might hear someone say, just breathe, take a deep breath. And this really does work. Deep breathing gets a lot of oxygen back to your brain and um, helps you regain that sense of control and calmness. So today I'm gonna show you some breathing techniques that you can do anytime, anywhere, that can help you get yourself back under control and help you feel calm again. We will start with the triangle. Start on the blue dot, take a slow deep breath in, trace the arrow while you let your breath out. Breathe in again as you trace the last arrow back to the blue dot. Repeat the tracing of the triangle at least five times. Lazy eight is another shape you can use to control your breathing. Start on the blue dot, Trace to the left side of the eight while tracing the arrow and breathing in. Then trace the right side of the lazy eight while letting your breath out. Repeat at least five times or until you begin to feel relief from your anxiety and stress. But most importantly, the best thing you can do for yourself when you're feeling anxious is to just breathe. Have a good day. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey everybody, it's Mr. Hughes out there with your Franklin County School Seahawks joke of the day. Got a couple of things for you. I hope you like them. I didn't write them, but hey, uh, you know, no matter how much you push the envelope, it's always stationary. <laughs> I was thinking the other day, you know, if snails are so slow, why don't we ever see them coming? It's like, boom, there's a snail. I don't get it. Anyway, that's your joke of the day. You guys, uh, if you got one you want us to tell, send us an email with your joke on it and we will put it on the FCS Seahawks joke of the day and call your name out, make you famous. So you guys be good, stay safe, take care of each other out there. We hope you're well. We miss you guys. Hang tough, school's almost over guys. Be Seahawk proud. See you next time. Hey Seahawks, it's Ms. Martin here with your weather. Today is sunny with a high of 80 and a low of 68. Tomorrow's going to be partly cloudy with a high of 81 and a low of 68. And on Friday, we have a high of 82 and a low of 69. Over the weekend, just a slight chance of rain with only 20%. This is going to do it for your weekly weather report. I'm Miss Martin. I'll see you guys next week. The 2018-2019 yearbooks are in. Please contact Ms. Connie Sawyer at the number below to schedule an appointment. Thank you. Barber with Today in History. Today we're going to talk about May 13, 1918. And it was on this day that the United States issued its first airmail stamp.
the stamp cost 24 cents then. But what made it really interesting was that it had a biplane on it, and some of the stamps accidentally printed the biplane upside down, so they became collector's items. So when you have time, Google it. Take a look at what the first airmail stamp looked like on this day, May 13th, in 1918. Bye. Stay connected and stay safe, Franklin County.